Photographing Castle Stalker, oh yes. I always knew I'd get a stalker at some stage. So this morning, I've come down to hopefully get a sunrise. And we are starting to get a little bit of pink in the sky, but there's not enough cloud cover. <coughs> so I'm rushing to get an angle for that bit of peak. Pink, peak, pink. <coughs> so this is my second visit here. I was here last night and I rushed down for sunset, but things didn't quite go to plan. So I'll show you what happened yesterday and then I'll catch up with you again after. And let's see what we get out of this morning. Oh, good evening everyone. Welcome to another landscape photography adventure here in Glencoe in Scotland. And this one's a bit time sensitive. I fell asleep again. I do it a lot. <laughs> uh, and I've got 41 minutes to get to my destination, which gets me there at 13 minutes past five. Sunset is at quarter to six. <sighs> I've got to find where I'm going as well once I'm there. This one could be a shot in the dark, quite literally. Right, so we've had to park miles away. The guidebook I've been using, the information in it, is now completely wrong. The parking down at the bottom for the second viewpoint is now uh, got a sign up that says no unauthorised parking. So we can't use that. The cafe, which is the first one, that's shut. <laughs> so that's no good but I want the view from the second one anyway. But I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. Oh man. Well, I've definitely missed all of the good side light. Ah, oh, for God's sake. The only uh, hope I've got now is that sky lights up. If that doesn't happen, uh, then all I've got is a gray picture. Well, not a gray picture, but a lifeless picture. Don't mind. Don't advise this, you know. Walking down a road that's 50 mile an hour with no paths. <sighs> bumped into a kind gentleman who said that I'm definitely on the right track for getting down to the shore. But uh, look at that. It's starting to glow. I might just be able to salvage this shoot yet. Damn it. <laughs> I can't be walking shoes on. Walking trainers. Oh. for it, try and leap it. Okay, so I'm getting to an angle where I keep looking at that, it's getting pink. I'm getting to an angle where I can get the sunset in it. I just wanna figure out some foreground possibly maybe a straight shot with just the lake but wow it's reflecting off the water and everything <laughs> look at that right i think i found my angle for straight shot i want to be just over here uh, and i'll spin you around i can use the curve there with the castle in it. Right, that's the game. I need to get set up. See you guys in a bit. 
Right, that's the first shot in the bag. It's definitely getting a gorgeous sunset, but I think it's starting to fade. So I'm gonna go in tighter on this as well, and then I'm gonna move over there and see if I can get some rock interest in the foreground. So the foreground element is basically a log and a stone, but it's a nice marbly stone and a nice log I've got pointing out towards the castle in a portrait orientation. We're either going to be done or this is going to be immense. Because look at that. If it goes under that, that's going to light up like Santa's outfit. I'm telling you, it's going to be redder than red. That's the hope. Right. I'm going to find a composition that suits that. And just wait. And if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. So we are definitely in the afterglow now and that big cloud's not going to light up. It's just too low. Ah, I think sunset was approximately... Yeah, just over a half hour ago, 40 minutes ago. So I think that's me done. Time for me to try and find my way back to the van in the dark. I suppose I should tell you, this has been Castle Stalker. So having turned up late to what would have been a fantastic sunset, the photography gods decide they're going to give me a second chance. I head off, I go and camp up for the night and I return the following morning. And I get colour in the sky again. I must have done something in a former life that pleased the photography gods. Well, welcome back. <laughs> mm, yes, what an evening. Anyway, so I'm still chasing this pink here in the morning and it's coming up lovely. There's no definition in the sky as such. More of a, is it called a belt of Venus? Mm, a little bit of cloud, but nothing special. But there is that nice pink and blue hue. So I'm just chasing angles on this castle so that I can try and get these mountains in as well. I started off at the headland where you've got most foreground interest, but that was just shooting the wrong way. So, off this way we come. I think you can see what I'm going for. So the moon was actually up a couple of minutes ago as well above that cloud line. So hopefully I've got a moon set <laughs> uh, from over that side. With the pink hues, very nice, very nice. So for this shot, uh, I'm probably going to crop this down to a 16 by 9. I'm trying to get as much of the mountains in as I can and the two islands. But I think I may have to cut one of the islands out so I can get a little bit more of the castle in the frame. It's just a bit too small. But I am getting that nice glow reflected onto the surface of the water. Yeah. And I go for a long exposure as well. We're talking about 13, 14 seconds, but that'll smooth this water out. Yeah. Working the angles again. All right, so I am chasing the last of this light and it's looking lovely from the angle I was at earlier on this morning, but I don't think we're gonna get there in time. Oh. Well, that's the last of that pink morning glow gone now. The rushing around has stopped. You'll be pleased to know. But I think I've done okay. <laughs> but last night, that was fantastic in terms of 
the light I've got. So I think I've got some things there that I'm going to quite like. Uh, it's going to be dark and kind of moody with that pink glow in it. So now it's all over. I think I'm going to have a wander around that headland to see if there's anything around there. I'd never found anything in the dark when I got here or when I was here last night. So a good opportunity to see if there's anything for next time I'm here, if I'm here at all. You never know. You never know. Well, thank you guys. I think that's enough from me today. Time to rest up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>